that, but hopefully Morpus can get a win. Well, that is the referee blowing his whistle. We are underway here at Craig Park. On the double, double quick as Jeff Henderson lets that run through and go behind for a goal kick. Yeah, but Ben Ramsey's had three goals across it in already and has played low and flat up towards Liam Henderson on the edge of the 18-yard box. Tries to knock around the corner and it should be worked away by Nantwich. Oh, lovely turn on the ball there from Joe Robbins who plays it forward. And oh, it's gone through Jeff Henderson. All of a sudden, Dan Cockline's clean through on goal up towards the edge of the area. He shoots. Finds the bottom corner and Nantwich have taken the lead in less than two minutes. Cockerline is having a field day at the moment, um, getting onto every ball forward. And uh, here's Jack Foley in behind them. He's in the area, chance to equalise. Oh, a challenge from behind there. Up towards halfway, but here come Nantwich again, and Henderson <laughs> just goes in, feigns to go in for the challenge, and Sean Miller dives out the way of it. And Jeff Henderson takes it over. Here's Sayer out wide to the left, and Ben Ramsey, who's got a bit of chance to run at his man up towards the edge of the area on the left hand side into the box, and he looks to get a shot away at the near post. And he's got two hands on it, the keeper at that near post. He sees it out for a throw in for Nantwich, who take it quickly and finds Joe Robbins. And Nantwich just looking an absolute threat on the counter attack here as they play it forward. And Morpeth are over, going to get overloaded here. It's played out the right hand side. And where's Morpeth's defence? Chance for a shot away from Akil Rafi and a rush of blood. The head of centre. Over halfway, Liam Noble thighs it down, but it's picked off rather comfortably by Joe Robbins after a deflection. Here's Robbins then. Out to the left, and Sean Miller again is popping up in space. He's able to cut inside the flank and just float one in towards the area. And oh, Dan Lawson hasn't got there. And Dan Cockerline is headed it off Dan Lawson's head, and it's gone into the back of the net. And York are leading at five spots. Well, the ball is headed clear by uh, Joel Stair, and it's kind of brought down by Rafi, who just panics and clears. And it goes, <laughs> support gets caught out there. Goes out for a throw in deep inside Nantwich territory for the high. We've got a long way to go. If they're going to get back into this one, say a knocks it in field. Nice ball. Ben Ramsey's into the area, left side of the box. He's got loads of time and space. Plays low at the near post, and Liam Henderson gets there on the deck and tries to hit one goalwards. I'm not sure if they're losing by two goals to nil. This is not what the script had in mind. Here's Noble. Floats one out to the right and forced out. Just going to pull Nantwich to this near side. Morpeth's going from left to right as I see it, and I'm facing the clubhouse on the far side of the ground. Here's Oliver. The amber and black. Black shorts and black socks. Finds Foley. He's going to try and run up against his man and jink one way, then the other. Gets it, the ball in the area. And Ben Sayer flicks the goal wins. Should be gathered comfortably by Matty Gold and Julie, is it? Trying to rush everything to try and get everything immediately get back into the game. And, and they don't need to. No, they just need to get this ball moving as it's moved out to the left hand side. And there could be a chance to move down the uh, left flank for Ben Ramsey. Goes back towards Liam Noble, 25 yards out. He's going to get a shot away. He does. It's not far away, mind, from Liam Noble. Long ball forward. It was there to be won the header under no pressure. Just win it. Just deal with it. That's a lovely ball out wide to left by Oliver, releases Ben Ramsey. He's got time to size across it in the box. It's low and flat towards the near post, but it picked off once and passed the clear on as far as Ramsey, who shoots towards the near post. Matty Gould, who likes to palm things down at the court here. As the ball players on the move, it's flicked in towards the area and it drops in the box. And oh, well, set goalwards by Ben Sayre on this slide, but it's cleared away inside the six yard box by uh, Nat Richard. Stephen Forster, he just floats in off and then crosses the ball in the box, and Ramsey's there to clear this time. but Morpus midfield's been totally bypassed in certain situations as Rafi cuts in and he's going to get shot away under no pressure and it's palmed down by Lawson and Nantwich man tries to come and get it and Lawson smothers it towards Liam Henderson thread the eye of the needle out to the right and Jack Foley and they're going to look to size up across in the box he charges it towards the edge of the area twists and turns and holds onto the ball goes low and flat towards Noble who's 20 yards out in the central position looks to Ben Mon and Matty Gold pump here's Conor Oliver then looking to move forward out towards the, the middle of the pitch and finds Noble he should play it further on towards Ben Ramsey that's better from Morpeth here's Ramsey on the charge up towards the edge of the area he's got the run on uh, Sky Sinclair but Sinclair's got back he's on towards the byline he's into the box now Ramsey and he goes down into the challenge it's a penalty kick Glenn Hart points to the spot that's better from Ben Ramsey that's exactly what you need from your winger Glenn Hart blows his whistle Liam Noble strides up to the ball right footed slots it into the bottom corner sends the keeper the wrong way it's 2-1 come on get it up do it drops towards Connor Oliver there on this right hand side just slows it down and finds Henderson who's going to be under pressure from Cockerline but just gives it back to Connor Oliver game at walking pace once again as Morpeth looked to kind of dictate the Tempo. Here's Noble in midfield. Moves it further on to Sayer, 25 yards, 20 yards out. Finds Noble, who's just got a bit of traffic in front of him. Finds Conor Oliver, who's got a chance to get a shot away. Does! Drives it wide at the far post. And second half action underway. Glen Hart, the rain has ceased. Cooled itself a touch. And we can actually see the pitch. As it's headed in field by Jack Foley for Conor Oliver, who challenges for the ball and doesn't win it. And Ben Ramsey is going to win the second ball. That's more of what we need from Morpeth. They trail by two goals to one.
Dan Cutline's brace reduced by Liam Noble's effort as the ball's played in behind. Here's Ramsey in the box with a chance to equalise. Oh, fine save from uh, Matty Gould. Commentary as the random murmurings of Sam from a distance come into view. Anyways, right of centre, Liam Noble, probably 30 yards out. They've got a three-man, four-man wall with Dan Cockerline, the obvious pinnacle of that wall. Maybe he's going to have a chance at goal here. There's three on the right back post. He just digs it towards that back post. The head's go up. Lee Ennis and it's in. Oh, the outside flag goes up. He just looped it into the uh, far corner. And then he plays it in field and it's picked off. And all of a sudden, this is the problem we've got. There's Nant which looked to break and break at pace. Here's Montefiore up against Wayne Phillips. Looks to cut inside 25 yards out and get a shot away. And he does. And Lawson palms it down. And Lawson saves the second line from Cockline. And that is superb from Dan Lawson. What a second save that is. He made himself big. He's got simple as that. Good save, mind. Absolutely stunning stop from Lawson, but he shouldn't even be in a position to be anywhere near it. Absolutely not. As uh, Forster crosses, it's deflected up towards Finnegan, who gets ahead on it. It's headed up rather than out by Stair. Finnegan wins it again. There's Foley. Oh, in the area, on the stretch, seven yards out. He gets right underneath it. A little bit um, watching. There's Montefiore, cuts inside. He's going to get shot away again. He does. It's very similar. Dan Lawson gets two hands behind it to the box. Cuts inside, plays it towards Noble, who chests it down, goes to Oliver, who moves out to the right and Forster. It's nice football for Morton to move it from one side of the pitch to the other as Forster floats one into the box. Finnegan goes up and there's the header goal. It's past the far post. Holds his hands out looking for somebody to pass to and then he sends the ball across the park towards Forster, who chests it down midway inside Nantwich territory. Cuts inside, he's got time and space for left foot delivery in the area. Finnegan's going to go up with the keeper. The keeper gets a hand on it, it drops in the area and it's cleared away. He did well. Plays it low and flat to Sayer, just gives him it back and Henderson's got a chance to run up towards the edge of the box, goes in field to Sayer, 25 yards out, tries to move around the corner, gets the deflection, plays in towards Andrew Johnson, cries of handball. If Liam Noble fancies it, but I think he might just uh, give this a bit of power as Noble strides up the ball and sends it. Go Oh, that wasn't far away from Liam Noble. Matty Gould certainly dived, it was on. Yeah. Sean Cook brings it down and gallops over halfway and dances away from Jeff Henderson. They're in behind here. Sean Cook's going to get into the area. Dan Lawson comes out to greet him. He goes down under the challenge. He keeps on going and the referee says nothing happening. Anywhere as Noble floats it over the top for Forster who chests it down and he's going to get a corner kick for his troubles. Is this the last chance saloon for the Highland? It's going to be another chance for Noble to swing one in from the resulting corner kick. It's swung in. That's better. Better delivery. It's up in the that near post. It drops in the area. There's Finnegan who shoots. It's blocked by the keeper. It's in the six yard area. Scramble clear. It'll come out to Liam Noble. But there's referee, da uh, referee manager Dave Cook for Nantwich. Cries for the full time whistle. There it is. Nantwich win away from home. A 2 1 win at Craig Park. Thank you very much for joining us on Hiramman Radio. Two goals from Dan Cockline did the business. Liam Noble's penalty in the 43rd minute wasn't enough. It ends 2 1.